This video will cover getting the admin menu onto your quest and in-game. The in-game admin menu only works with Arctic VR servers. You have to buy a server from arctic-vr.com. If you buy a server from somebody else or try and set up your own, the admin menu will not work. On the Arctic VR website, they have a section for the quest admin menu. Here you can see instructions on how to install the menu as well as the link to download the admin menu file. It should look something like this. Go ahead and click download and then in your downloads folder you will see the patch file. If you download the admin menu file multiple times you will see a 1 appear at the end of the file path. This will break it. You need to have it be named exactly correct. If this downloads as a zip file, you can just delete the .zip and it should work, or open the zip and extract this file that you see here out of that zip folder. An OBB is like a different version of a zip file. You can open this up with WinRAR and see the stuff inside of it, but if you try and move just that stuff over to the quest, it won't work. It has to be exactly this. After you get the file downloaded, you turn on your quest, plug the quest into your computer with a USB cable, then once you plug the quest into the computer, you will see a prompt inside the quest. You hit allow. This will allow access to the files inside the quest. You will also see a phone icon appear in your computer folders. Go ahead and navigate inside of the folder to Android, OBB, Pavlov VR, and you will see a file uh, main 127 Pavlov beta. If you see a whole bunch of files that's like 480 or something like that, you are not on the normal version of Pavlov. You are on the RC version of Pavlov. RC stands for Release Candidate and is a temporary beta version of Pavlov that the admin menu does not work with. You have to be on the normal version of Pavlov for the admin menu to work. When you get here, all you do is drag and drop your patch file into the folder. Some people have had success using an Android phone or a tablet or some other device to transfer the admin menu file onto your quest. The only requirement is to download the file from the website and put it into this specific folder for the quest. If you come up with another way to do that, it'll work. This guide only covers using a Windows PC. If you don't have access to a laptop or a desktop and can't borrow one for five minutes, you can try using an Android phone or a tablet or something like that. People have had success moving a file from their tablet onto the Quest, but you're going to have to figure that out on your own. This guide only covers Windows computers. After you get the patch file into your Pavlov beta folder, you can go ahead and unplug your Quest and launch Pavlov normally. The next part of getting the menu working is moderating yourself on your Pavlov server. When you buy a server from Arctic VR, when the server is online, you should receive an email like this. Inside of this email is your Archon credentials. Archon stands for remote connection and is a method of control for your Pavlov server. You can go ahead and copy this into a notepad or something so you don't lose it and then navigate over to pavlovarchon.com 
This is the Archon tool that will allow you to use your Archon credentials to control the server. Go ahead and copy and paste your IP address, your port, and your password into this tool. You can also use this tool on a phone or any device that connects to a browser. Once you are logged in, you should see all the information for your server. You can go down to add moderator. And if you were in the server, you could select the user and just run the command. Or if you're not in the server, like I'm not now, you can type in your Oculus username. This is uh, case sensitive, so make sure you type in your username exactly correct, how it shows up in the Pavlov scoreboard. If you do not type in your username correctly, it will not work. Run the command. You should see in the log that it worked. Now you go to server configuration and rotate the map. You have to rotate the map for the server to apply the change in the moderator list. You can see the map has been rotated. Now if we join the server and open the admin menu, it will work. All right, we're now in game on the server. I've added myself as an admin. So if I push the scoreboard button and then grip, you'll see the menu pops up. So to open the scoreboard, hit the scoreboard button while holding the button, pull, pull the grip, release the scoreboard button, release the grip, and you now have the admin menu. Here you can do things like spawn items and all that good stuff change the maps. These are whatever maps you have locally downloaded on your quest uh, and all the fun stuff here. The admin menu only works with the default bindings. If you're left-handed or screwed with your bindings, this won't work. It relies specifically on left scoreboard and left grip, so use that. When you get into the menu, you can do all the fun things. Spawn some trucks, spawn some ATVs, spawn guns, whatever. This is also what allows you to have bots on quest. You can spawn a bunch of bots. You can make yourself god mode. Here are all the bots. You can also Clean up all the guns, clean up all the vehicles, give yourself infinite money, buy at any time. If you want to switch to a different map, like Bridge, you can go to TDM and then your map will switch. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the Arctic Discord. Please keep it in the appropriate channel. The appropriate channel is the server support channel, or you can send me an email, info at arctic-vr.com.